All right, altitude, here we go. Moving on to chapter four, uh, second section. Uh, standard form of a quadratic function, okay? Our essential question, why is the standard form of a quadratic function useful? It's useful because you can put it into the calculator a whole lot easier uh, than you can ver uh, vertex form. Uh, a little reminder here, vertex form, we've just uh, worked with it in the first section. F of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Okay, our vertex is hk. A tells us if we open up or down. Remember the graphs of parabola, uh, a big U. Standard form is right here. F of x or y, same thing, equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And it's a quadratic because it's a second degree polynomial. It's ra x is raised to the second power. Okay, um, <clears throat> the, uh, the things we're going to find with it is the axis of symmetry. Remember the axis of symmetry, when you graph your u, that line that you fold it on, which happens to be the x-coordinate of the vertex, that's the line you can fold your parabola up on in it, and it fits perfectly. It's like a butterfly, you know, flapping the wings, or a hot dog bun, okay? Uh, you find that axis of symmetry by taking x equals negative b over 2a, negative b over 2 times that a. I'll show you an example. And like I mentioned, that's also the x-coordinate of the vertex. x equals negative b over 2a. So you're finding both things when you use that uh, formula right there. Okay, you're finding the axis of symmetry and the x-coordinate of the vertex. To find the y-coordinate of the vertex, you just plug the x-coordinate into the f of x equation, plug it in for x, and solve for y, and that's the y-coordinate of the vertex. Okay? So vertex form, standard form. We want to be able to use them both. Okay, let's look at an example here of standard form. Let's say you have the graph f of x equals, or you want to graph f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 3. Okay? First thing we want to do is we want to find the axis of symmetry and the vertex. Okay? So, we're going to use our formula, x equals negative b over 2a. Uh, I'm sorry. 2a. Now we want to make sure, now you, you go back through here and you look and you see what number's in front of the x. It's a 1. That's my a. There's my b. There's my c. Okay? And you're going to plug in from there. So negative b, negative of 2 is negative 2. If that was a negative, we take negative of the negative and get a positive. So we've got negative 2 over 2 times 1. Negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. So the axis of symmetry x equals negative 1. Okay? The x coordinate of the vertex is x equal negative 1. You want to find the y coordinate? Plug it in. We're going to get negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 plus 3. Remember that x right there came from what we found right here for x negative b over 2a. Solve this. Negative 1 squared is 1, minus 2, plus 3, 4 minus 3 is 2, and negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So our vertex is negative 1, 2. So we want to graph it. Now we know that our a is positive, so we know we're going to open up our vertex is at negative 1, 2, right there, and we're going we're gonna to open up. Okay? You want to know it's your, uh, there's your vertex. Your axis of symmetry is actually this line right here. There's your axis of symmetry. Okay? So, identify A, B, and C, plug them in to find X. That's the x-coordinate of the vertex and the axis of symmetry. Plug them in for x into the equation to find y, so you know the vertex. Okay. Plot the vertex. Look at your a. I'm opening up because it's positive. If it was negative, I'd open down. There's my axis of symmetry, what I just found there. Okay. In the second part of 4.2, they want you to be able to uh, convert from standard form to vertex form. Okay, there's our standard form. Now remember to 
switch this over to vertex form, I need to know my A, which is right there, and the vertex, which is HK. Well, we just found the vertex, okay? So there's my A. I got that much of it. Remember, we want to get into this. That's what we're looking to get into, okay? I'm going to use my formula, negative B over 2A, looking for my vertex, okay? So my A was 2, my B is 10, my C is 7. So I'm going to get negative 10 over 2 times 2, negative 10 over 4, which is negative uh, 2.5, okay? I know the Y coordinate, and, and this will be my H, okay, as far as my equation goes, because H is the X coordinate of the vertex. Y, let me plug in here, 2 times negative 2.5 squared, plus 10 times negative 2.5 plus 7. 2.5 squared is 6.25, times 2 is 12.5, minus 25, plus 7. I'm going to get negative 12.5 plus 7, so I'm at negative 5.5. Okay, now that's my K, right? Because K is the uh, Y coordinate of the vertex. So vertex form, just plug everything in, f of x or y, it doesn't matter, okay? It's going to be a, which we know is 2, x minus my h is negative 2.5, so minus the negative will be plus 2.5 squared, plus k, which is negative 5.5. There's my answer. So I took standard form to vertex form. I got my A, I just needed to find the vertex, X and Y, okay? Then plug in the A, the H, and the K, and you got it, okay? Hopefully that's helpful. Tomorrow in class we will uh, look at some examples of this and some application. Be ready to go then. See you then, bye.